So if we now consider our second example, again, uh, one we referred to earlier. So we've got our observed, and we've got our expected um, for the four-sided spinner question from previously. Um, we're asked to test at the 2.5 significance level whether observed could be modelled by expected. So null and alternative, always set up the same. Uh, observed do represent or can be modelled by the expected. Um, and observed cannot be modelled by the expected. Okay, um, or there is little difference between the observed and the expected or there is significant difference between observed and expected. Degrees of freedom this time, always check to see whether any of you expected are less than five, they're not. So um, therefore we have uh, seven cells, one constraint, so degrees of freedom is equal to six. And then we need to pick off our critical value at the 2.5 significance level uh, for the chi-squared six distribution. Okay, so our critical value is 14.449. Then from your calculator, you can then calculate your goodness of fit statistic. So that comes out to be 16.008. And then compare that goodness of fit statistic with your critical value on this occasion it is greater than so therefore we reject the null hypotheses there is evidence at the 2.5 percent level that the spinners are biased the observed and the expected uh, differ by enough to support that alternative hypotheses okay and that's the principle of the uh, of the hypotheses test on the chi-squared So in example three, we've got our observed evidence and we've got enough information to work out our expected from the paragraph in uh, the, at the start of the question. Okay, um, and so we want to test at the 5% significance level uh, whether there is a, a change in attitude to exercise following the instruction of the new club. So we want to see whether there's significant difference between the observed and what we would have expected if there was no change. So usual statements for your null and the alternative put in context, number of degrees of freedom, number of cells, uh, take away number of constraints in under degrees of freedom is two, critical value, and then we can calculate our goodness of fit chi-squared statistic. So a little bit of work to get our expected using the proportions given in uh, the question. Note that these totals must always be the same. That's what gives us our const one constraint for the degrees of freedom. Okay, and you work out your chi-squared to give you 8.078. And then we can compare with our critical region on this occasion. Our goodness of fit stat is greater than the, the critical region for this test at this significance level. And therefore, uh, there is evidence that the new club has had an effect on the number of times students exercise each week. Okay, there is significant difference between the observed and the expected leading us to reject H0 in favour of H1.